Brought to you by wikivd.com Sister Act Sister Act is a 1992 American musical comedy film directed by Emil Ardolino and written by Joseph Howard, featuring musical arrangements by Mark Scheiman. The film stars Whoopi Goldberg as a Reno lounge singer who has been put under protective custody in a San Francisco convent of Port Clares and has to pretend to be a nun when a mob boss puts her on his hit list. Also in the cast are Maggie Smith, Kathy Najimy, Wendy Makina, Mary Wicks, and Harvey Keitel. One of the most financially successful comedies of the early 1990s, Grossing $231 million worldwide, the film was rated 3 on Bravo's The 100 Funniest Movies list. It spawned a 1993 sequel, entitled Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit, and a musical adaptation that premiered at the Pasadena Playhouse in Pasadena, California, in 2006 and opened at the West End's London Palladium with previews from May 7, 2009. The musical then opened on Broadway at the Broadway Theatre in April 2011, with previews beginning March 24, 2011. A remake of Sister Act is in the works. Plot The film opens in 1968 at St. Anne's Academy, a California Roman Catholic school, where a young girl named Dolores Wilson is scolded by Sister Immaculata for wisecracking and disobedience. The setting then changes to the present day, where Dolores is a lounge singer in a 1960s-themed act called the Ronells, who sing at the Moonlight Lounge of the Nevada Club in Reno, Nevada, run by her boyfriend. The mobster Vince LaRocca, after Dolores walks in on Vince having his chauffeur Ernie executed for betrayal, Vince orders his two henchmen Joey and Willie to kill her as well. Dolores flees Vince's casino to the local police station, where Lieutenant Eddie Souther suggests she testify against Vince if he can be arrested and tried, but for now, she should go into witness protection until the time comes. Dolores is taken to St. Catherine's Parish in a seedy, run-down neighborhood of San Francisco, where Souther suggests she take refuge in the attached convent. Both Dolores and the stoic Reverend Mother Object, but are convinced by Souther and Monsignor O'Hara to go ahead with it. Dolores becomes an unhabit and all under the hand of Reverend Mother who gives her the religious name, Sister Mary Clarence, to complete the disguise. Mary Clarence objects to following the strictures and simple life of the convent, but comes to befriend several of the nuns, including the forever jolly Sister Mary Patrick, quiet and meek Sister Mary Robert, and the elderly dead pun Sister Mary Lazarus. After sneaking into a nearby bar, Mary Clarence is chastised by Reverend Mother and put into the choir, which she has seen to be dreadful. The choir nuns, learning that Mary Clarence has a background in music, elect her to take over as choir director, which she accepts, and she rearranges them to make them better singers. At Mass one Sunday, the choir sings the Hail Holy Queen in the traditional manner beautifully before shifting into a gospel and rock and roll infused performance of the hymn. Reverend Mother is infuriated with Mary Clarence about the performance and orders that Mary Lazarus once again become the director of the choir. But Monsignor O'Hara is thrilled with the performance as the unorthodox music brought people, including teenagers, in off the streets. Dolores convinces Monsignor O'Hara that the nuns should be going out to clean up the neighborhood. This they do, and the choir wows church visitors with their music, with Souther eventually attending a performance of My Guy. Eventually, O'Hara announces to the choir that Pope John Paul II is to visit the church to see the choir himself. 
Reverend Mother decides to hand in her resignation. Since her authority has been unintentionally undermined, but Mary Clarence offers to leave in her stead, to which the Reverend Mother disagrees. Detective Tate, a police officer on Vince's payroll, finds out where Dolores is and contacts Vince, who sends Joey and Willie out to grab her. Souther confronts Tate, gets him arrested, and flies to San Francisco to try and warn Mary Clarence, but Vince's men abduct her. The nuns, led by the Reverend Mother, risk their lives by going to Reno to save Mary Clarence. Meanwhile, she flees Vince and his men, leading to a chase around the casino until the nuns find her and try to sneak out. Vince, Joey, and Willie confront the nuns, but they cannot bring themselves to shoot Dolores while she is in a nun's habit. And Reverend Mother proclaims Dolores is indeed a nun, to convince Vince. As Vince works up the courage to shoot her anyway, Southa bursts in and shoots him in the arm, and has the men arrested. Reverend Mother then thanks Dolores for everything she has done for them, and agrees to remain at the convent. The film ends with the choir, led by Dolores, singing, I will follow him, before the Pope and a packed and refurbished street. Catherine's, earning a loud standing ovation from the audience, the Pope, Reverend Mother, Monsignor O'Hara, and L.T. Souther. The end credits reveals that Dolores's secret life as a nun was sold to the media, and has become a sensation. The ending of Dolores's career as a choir leader is revealed through magazines and album covers, and Dolores has continued leading the choir as a famous group with published albums. Production Screenwriter Paul Rudnick pitched Sister Act to producer Scott Rudin in 1987, and it was agreed that Bette Midler would be best for the lead role. The script was then brought to Disney. However, Midler later turned down the role, fearing that her fans would not want to see her play a nun. Eventually, Whoopi Goldberg signed on to play the lead. As production commenced, the script was rewritten by a half-dozen screenwriters, including Carrie Fisher, Robert Harling, and Nancy Myers. With the movie no longer resembling his original script, Rudnick asked to be credited with a pseudonym in the film, deciding on Joseph Howard. The church in which Dolores takes refuge is St. Paul's Catholic Church, located at Valley and Church Streets in Noe Valley, an upper-middle-class neighborhood of San Francisco. The storefronts on the opposite side of the street were converted to give the area a ghetto look. Though the order of the nuns in the film is hinted at being a Carmelite one by Sister Mary Patrick, the religious habit is similar in appearance to that of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Third Order of St. Francis. Members of the Real Life Order, however, no longer wear their traditional habit. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.